welcome to my in-depth at home self-care routine by the way guys self-care improve your physical health reduce stress and anxiety boost self-esteem and protect your mental health <music> guys and welcome if it's your first time here my name is Ruth Kim I'm going to start off with the foot care and as you can see I'm going to start off by cutting my nails I prefer to work with shorter nails because it's easier to remove the nail the, the polish when they are shorter than when they are longer I'm going to use these acetone nail polish remover that I got from Amazon on one leg i'm going to go ahead and use the nail polish remover cups that i also got from amazon i feel like they are too small or too tiny for my wide <laughs> nails so on this side i'm just going to use the same acetone and cotton wool and this foil paper that was readily available from my kitchen So as you can see all done and we're going to wait for 15 to 20 minutes as we wait i'm going to file my nails as you can see here they are short i just i had them cut like it's hard for me to have well kept nails here at home but i try as much as i can to keep them short filed and paint them even if i have to paint them like uh, once per week i try to do that So as we still wait for the toenails, I'm going to uh, braid and band my hair. As you all know guys, if you've been following my journey, you know I have sister locks. And braiding and banding is one of the steps before you wash your hair. Because it stops the locks from slipping or unveiling and it allows the locks to be cleansed with minimal manipulation. So it's very very important for me every time I'm washing my sister locks to braid and band them until they are fully locked you know after a while i'll have to stop this process and just wash them without braiding and banding but now that they are not locked i have to do this this is the end result like i've braided and banded my whole head so it's ready for the wash next i'm going to try and see if the fits are ready as you can see this side is not like so smooth it's coming out but not as smooth as i would have wished for but i'm glad that it's coming out this is a nail polish it's actually gel that i got from kenya when i was home for the holiday like the last three months can you imagine guys for the last three months i've done nothing on my toenails Ooh wee. this other side where i had the foil paper it's coming out so easily like next time i'm doing this i'm going for the foil paper yes so i'm just going to remove everything as you can see here on the video and then i'm going to file them i know some people do this process after cleaning and cleansing as for me i'm going to do it here foil them and shape them the way i like it come on love you all come on love you all guys so next i'm going to go ahead and have a foot bath so i got my foot tap here from eb kleiner and tiger which was going for 10 euros next i'm going to add this wellness full spot salt two cups and then next next i'm going to add this full spot so, uh, so from jolea one cup and then i'm going to soak my feet for 15 minutes when you soak your feet, it helps to eliminate callulas, corn, and dry skin. So as you can see here, guys, it's like about 20 minutes later. And as you can see, just see. Oh my God, this is so disgusting. See, see, guys. Disgusting. So I'm going to go ahead and use this food file that I got from Amazon for only 10 
you rose to remove callus in our language we call them dead skin guys or dry skin or dry scalp can you see how disgusting this is this is so disgusting oh my god i'm even ashamed to share this one with you guys but it is what it is so this one is amazing and then i'm going to go ahead and scrub my feet scrubbing helps to remove dead skin and impurities it's going to relieve stress and give me a growing soft skin Next, I'm going to take this uh, nail scrub or nail file, which is not so extreme like the other one. And then I'm going to go ahead and try to remove the extra callus maybe that was left. But as you can see, the nail file that I used before did a very, very good job. This one is not so extreme like hard on your skin. It's very, very soft. And then I'm going to try and lince everything out. Next, I'm going to wash my nails and here is why I had to remove my nail polish because I feel like when I'm cleaning my nail, it should be clean. I'm going to dry everything off. Kabisa, kabisa. And then I'm going to use this fuss butter from Jolea. Guys, if you're in Germany, you know the Jolea product from Budni. They're super, super cheap. So I spent less than 15 euros on these products and I can only recommend them. So next, I'm going to butter or to moisturize my feet and my legs because i also scrapped my leg like i feel so good i just feel so good i just started this care, skincare routine and i'm on my feet and i'm already feeling good don't forget to moisture your the down part of your feet and then i'm going to go ahead i by the way i, I waited for a few minutes i'm going to go ahead and apply nail polish i'm not a pro when it comes to these but i know you have to do it like a pro like i'm trying i use nail polish as well from my local drugstore this is a normal polish i don't know why but i love them white and then i have a hack i normally use top layer like gel top layer with that we get from our local drugstore so that's it with the foot care and now we're moving on to the next one bathroom guys we're going into our bathroom and i'm going to start by setting the mud <music> I'm going to start by washing my face using the Ghania black bar soap and then I'm going to use oil to oil my face. I'm going to tell you in a minute why. Next, I'm, I'm going to use a jade roller to massage my face. It can stimulate blood flow which helps your skin to look brighter. It decreases puffiness, cools and soothes the skin, provides relaxation and reduces stress. Next, I'm going to shave my face and this is why I had to oil my face earlier because I hate doing it dry. Face shaving, guys, helps to remove the extra layer of dead skin. It helps to remove unwanted hair and it also brighten your look, making the makeup go on smoothly. Like when you're applying your makeup, it feels smooth and lasts longer. Next, guys, as you can see, I'll be steaming my face. Steaming opens up your pores and helps loosen any buildup of dirt for deeper cleanse. It softens blackhead, making it easier to remove them. Personally, guys, it makes me feel like I have brought this spa at home. Next, guys, as you can see here from the video, I'm trying to get rid of the blackheads using this squeezer. I can see something, but I know I think it's not so clear on the camera but you can tell i'm not a pro <laughs> anyways i'm working on it and next time i'll be better yes but it feels so good it feels super super good <music> on to the next step guys i'm going to use a dental floss to remove those unwanted food particles because i'm i'm that kind of a person that is not allowed to use tooth uh toothpick then I'm going to go ahead and brush my teeth. I'm not going to show you with what because kilam to anabitu zakun. And then I'm going to dive into the shower. And as you know, guys, we are washing my hair. So I use Cell Zoom shampoo. 
so guys the reason why i'm using this medicated shampoo it's because i used to suffer with dandruffs uh, itchiness dry scalp and this shampoo treat dandruffs it reduces itching flicking irritation and redness of the scalp as you can see guys i'm going to double cleanse i feel like i need these because normally i don't go too hard on my hair so washing it twice makes me feel like it's super super clean i do it once per week and up to now i'm super super happy next i'm going to shower using this balea body wash from dm and you know guys for my uh shower routine video that i love 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 exfoliating gloves i use two of them because they make me feel like i can touch every part of my body with them and after showering with them they i feel clean i just feel clean i just love it when mimi nasugua sugua believe you next i'm going to go in with a body scrub using the exfoliating gloves again and then i'm going to scrub my armpits we are going to shave them in a bit and then i'm going to scrub every part of my body and mind you guys i'm also washing down there it's just that i did a shower routine video that's why i'm not showing you guys like washing down there i'm going to go ahead and use this knife body foam using this cutting i don't know how it's called and then you can see the way it like forming on my body and it has this aroma smell and then for my back i have these like kasugui this body scrubber thing that helps me to reach each and every part of that back and scrub it like nobody's business yes as you can see i'm scrubbing it and then i'm going to rinse everything off and then we are out of the shower next i'm going to go in with this hydrating mask from ganea that i also got from my local direction a hydrating mask adds moisture to dry or dehydrated skin as you can see it's too small for my big forehead <laughs> anyways so next i'm going to shave and guys after i did my shower routine i was shaving with my shower, uh, shaving cream and someone recommended this mugging tone it's a rechargeable mini lady shaver you can use it well or dry to shave and guys this is my second time using it and i'm loving it i'm loving it the, the only thing is that you have to use it on a clean skin or you have to shower first and then shave but i don't feel the bad thing with it like it feels good it doesn't leave any dirtiness or any less you anyway as you can see it's so small it's so tiny you can put it in your handbag anyways as we wait for the hydrating mask i'm going to go ahead and moisturize my body using this garnier body lotion and garnier body lotion guys is the best for our skin women of color especially in winter yes it keeps my skin feeling small then i'm going to go ahead with this body oil and then i don't know why but i just feel like when my skin is super super nicely moisturized like, ah, it makes me feel good anyway let's take this mask off yes can you see can you see the way i'm glowing can you just see no i'm not going to wash it off i'm just going to use this pad and like take the galia to mikono get the excess hydration out next guys it's my evening skincare routine i start off with hyaluronic acid which hydrate plump skin combating dehydration which can cause dullness flaking fine lines and tight uncomfortable feeling next on i'm going to go with my retinoid serum also from the ordinary it's an anti-aging serum designed to minimize fine lines and reduce the signs of aging yes so it's very 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 important to massage in your product like all over your face there near your eyes your neck your decote like you go deep all the parts that you don't want to age with can you see my face guys can you just see and you can't tell that i had night shift the other night i, I barely slept for four hours anyways i'm going to go ahead with this q10 face cream from the m you guys can tell that i'm a jolea I'm an easy, affordable, <laughs> let me not, not say that, night cream. And then I'm going to put it on. Put it on. And I, I, at this point, I'm actually just feeling good. You know that feeling? And then it's time to moisturize my lips. I use this nipple cream. 
that i show you guys on my last video of the shower cream and as you can see guys the madame looks flawless yes can you see this is what they say and then i'm going to top it all that with a scent with a beautiful barbary black scent anyways back to my nails yes i'm going to apply my nail polish on my nails like i told you guys i do like a base coat of like a gel polish and then i apply the normal polish i know it's weird but it works for me like they stay for a week and i love them cute and yes applying on the left side it's always tricky but we manage so guys you all know if you've been following up with my videos that i'm a victim of chalazion and i have to do these eye warm compresses i like like i do them two to three times in a week it's provide a hydrating soothing relief to dry eyes the heat helps to open the my on glands to improve oil glands function increase oil flow in the, into the eyes stabilize the the tear farm and slow down the tear evaporation i put it in my on a microwave and then warm each side for 10 seconds and you're not supposed to warm it more than 10 seconds so on the one side 10 seconds and then on the other side 10 seconds and then i normally i do it when i'm in bed like i lay in bed put it on and then wait for five minutes so when my husband is around i ask him to check the time and when i'm alone i check the time as you can see this guy and somehow i managed to feel like he was doing something but i i felt the movement anyways yes yeah, so i'm just chilling waiting for the five minutes <laughs> So here guys my husband kevin wanted to know how it feels and he thought maybe it's a joke or maybe i can see i can see through them and he wanted to try them anyways thank you so much guys for watching and i'll see you on my next one bye bye love you